What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video and today's video is all about the gift cards to friends glitch. We do have a workaround for the GC2F that we've been doing with the CEO or the MOC invites and stuff like that. Uh, right now as far as I know this is only working on PS4. I think more testing still needs to be done on Xbox but right now this is basically a PS4 method so I'm really sorry for those Xbox guys out there. Uh, but we just don't have confirmation yet if it's working 100% or not. Anyway, shout out to the founders of this glitch. You got PB Money Glitch and Strike M44. Uh, their links will be down in the description. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch is go ahead and throw yourself in an invite-only session. You only need one friend, but they also need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage. And you want them to have the same bunker that you have, all right? So you guys need the same bunker. We're going to be doing the bunker merge before we do the GC2F. You need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and an RH8 inside of it, all right? And obviously the car that your friend is giving you. So right now, I'm in my bunker. My friend went ahead and went into their bunker and they sent me a CEO, or they're gonna send me a CEO invite. So they just signed in as a CEO and there you go. I just got a CEO invite to join their organization. Now what they're gonna do is actually go ahead and click on retire from their CEO and when you hit retire, you should get a big alert message, all right, on a black screen with the alert, uh, you know, sign on it. You want your friend to stay on that alert message, okay? Just sit on that alert message. That's it. Nice and simple. So once they've done that, what you want to do is go ahead and go inside of your MOC. Now, you see I have my RHA right here. We're going to go ahead and do the bunker merge. So I like to go to the back or I guess the front part of the trailer. And that's one of the exits right there. OK, so this is the exit that I'm using right next to the TV. So I'm going to line myself up with this chair just a little bit. And I'm going to have my friend. Uh, I have the CEO invite right here from my friend. You see that I still got that same CEO invite from before. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and accept the CEO invite and spam X to run towards the door, right? Push the left stick up. And if you've exited the trailer successfully right there, tell your friend to go ahead and retire while you're on the black screen. If done correctly, you should spawn in your friend's bunker just like this and see them. If you don't have this result, then start back over from the beginning. But you should spawn in your friend's bunker and you guys actually have successfully merged the bunkers right here. So this is how we're getting around the, uh, the patch. Now. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the mechanic and hit right D-pad and sit on this menu. My friend is going to run over to the blue circle of their MOC and then hit enter with nearby friends and crew. Once that happens, it should go ahead and kick me right off of this, you know, mechanic screen. There we go. So I got kicked off and I'm actually in the default bunker now. Everything is gone. My friend just loaded into their MOC and there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open up an interaction menu and take the easy way out. Okay. so. We haven't really done anything crazy difficult yet, all right? This, pretty much the whole glitch is smooth sailing. There are a couple things that can go wrong, and at the end, it is pretty random. But anyways, once you've taken the easy way out, you're going to spawn over at the docks. You want your friend to go ahead and call up a buzzard or something and start making their way over to the docks as well. So right now, they're making their way over here. Uh, the friend wants to come over here with the vehicle, all right? Now, or in the buzzard, and then just call up the vehicle here. Now, as you see, I just called up my MOC. You want to go ahead and just request your MOC, and you want it to go ahead and spawn down while you're waiting. My friend is, you know, coming over here in a buzzard. Now, once they're over here, I'm going to go ahead and actually request my personal vehicle from the MOC. And if you guys remember correctly, that'd be the RH8 that I told you to put in there from the beginning. So my friends over here on the ground, make sure your friends not in their MOC at this part right here. Make sure they are outside. You want to go ahead and take the RH8 that was in the MOC, just hit right D-pad and then you want it to go ahead and, you know, you want to go ahead and actually go in there. Now, first, you want to get a recent activity ready to go. OK, sorry about that. Get a recent activity ready to go to the, that says Sarge Town Line and then double tap the PS button to go back. OK, so you're going to see right here, I'm going to hit right D-pad. And once you do, you should get this really glitchy cutscene of you back in the bunker. OK, just like that. So you see that I'm going to go ahead and drive in and I should get hit with a black screen right here. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and start up a recent activity and decline the alert. Now it says loading in the bottom right. You need to wait for loading to go away. All right, so I'm just going to fast forward through this part right here. Once the loading icon goes away, then we can go ahead and press pause, go to the online tab, start up the criminal enterprise starter pack, back out of it, open up the interaction menu, and you can take the easy way out. All right. So we're actually taking the easy way out a few times in this glitch. It's pretty interesting. So now we should spawn over at the docks yet again. And as you can see, a bunch of trucks are spawning in. Some weird stuff's happening. Anyways, my friend, this is the vehicle that my friend is going to go ahead and give me. And 
what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually have these blue job markers ready to go. Okay, so as you can see right here in the hide options, this is how you set them up. You want them all to be on show. And what I recommend is actually going ahead and starting up two of these. Now, you can go ahead and start up the same, you know, press right D-pad on the blue circle and then back out of the job and, you know, go back to that same one again. I like to actually go to two different job circles. So go to two different ones. So I went to this team deathmatch one here first. I backed out of the job once I was in the lobby. Now I'm going to go ahead and run over to this other job circle, whatever it is. It's a mission. So I'm going to press right D-pad on this one. And this is going to help. The, uh, the little problem that we have at the end of this when you just get hit with that black screen and you can't do anything about it. So I'm going to back out of this job. And like I said, this isn't foolproof, but this will help, okay? But it's still not 100%. The next part, this does help it, but it's not a guarantee. So now I have the car right here that my friend is going to be giving me or, you know, I'm right next to it. I'm going to go ahead and stand by the passenger side door. Okay, now what my friend's going to do is go ahead and request their MOC and they're gonna run over inside of it to go ahead and send me an invite. So that's what you're gonna see right now uh, on the right side of the screen. My friend will go ahead and just run away and they're gonna grab their MOC and uh, yeah, just send me a simple invite. Okay, that's all it is. So now this next part right here, there is some timing involved. You wanna go ahead and have a stopwatch ready to go, maybe your iPhone stopwatch. Uh, that's what I've been using pretty much. And the time seems to be anywhere from 18 to 24 seconds. It's it's crazy for me. But anyways, I have an MOC invite. I'm going to go ahead and open up my phone and accept the MOC invite right here. You should get hit with a black screen immediately. What you want to do is bring up that recent activity, hit Star GT Online, and decline the alert. Now we have a loading icon on the bottom right. You want to press pause, go to the online tab, and just hover over the Criminal Enterprise starter pack. And this is the thing. So this part takes about 45 seconds, but this is just normal. Now. If at the end of this thing, you see how it says loading in the bottom right, when the loading goes away, if you just get keep if you keep getting hit with a black screen and you can't bring up the criminal enterprise starter pack, we don't have a specific fix for it. That was the job circle trick right there that we did where we went into job circles twice. That's supposed to help this, but it's not a guarantee like I said. So right now, that's pretty much what's going on with that. So once the loading circle goes away, hopefully I'll be able to bring up the criminal enterprise starter pack hopefully in a second so i'm gonna bring it up back out and start my timer okay so right when i back out of the criminal enterprise starter pack i am starting my timer so i have it at the top right over there this is really you could get it on the first try but that's if you get really lucky it, your time could be 22 seconds it, you just don't really know so i'm just here waiting i'm i'm just i don't know when it's going to be you want to be getting in though as the black screen comes up like that so the black screen came up at around 20 seconds that time. So now I kind of have an idea of my timing. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up a recent again and decline the alert. Now I'm back on this loading circle and just hover over criminal enterprise starter pack. And remember, we're just waiting for this to go away so that we can bring up the criminal enterprise starter pack. I'm going to back out of it. And right when I start pressing circle, I'm starting up my timer. Okay. So. Remember, my last time was about 20 seconds, so I backed out of Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack and I started my timer, and uh, yeah, I'm, you're actually gonna see here, so I failed already once. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fail twice, not on purpose, I was really, you know, trying. So remember, it happened around 20 seconds last time, the black screen, so I'm here thinking maybe around, you know, 18, 19, 20, but let's go ahead and start getting in. But I'm already inside and I'm moving over to the driver's seat, 23 seconds it finally happened. So. I was safe, you know, from here. I You can go ahead. Usually you can start up a recent again and decline the alert and you'll still be frozen outside, either invisible or not. But uh, yeah, this time with no loading icon, but still you can't press criminal enterprise yet. So I'm here waiting and here on the third try, I will actually get the timing. Remember, you want to be entering the vehicle or opening up the door as the black screen happens. So I'm going to back out of this and start my timer. Now I'm just going to run over to the passenger side door. It just works better that way, honestly. So. I'm over here waiting and I'm just looking at the timer. I'm thinking it happened first at 20, then at 23 or 24. I'm just going to probably go around 20 seconds. I'm going to start getting in here and just see what happens. So here we go. Around 20 to 21 seconds, I'm going to start getting in. And there we go. I got the black screen as I was getting into that seat. Perfect. I spawned in my MOC with the vehicle. Okay, sometimes you'll spawn in the MOC just with the RH8. That's just how this glitch goes sometimes, okay? It's not 100%, but I was able to get this footage fairly quickly after the glitch came out. So it is possible, guys. Just make sure you follow all the rules. 
uh, and all you know the techniques that I showed you in this video. Okay, so shout out to all the founders and everybody involved. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.